All right, it is uh, Wednesday, uh, the 28th. It's actually a nice day. It's sunny, but it's a bit humid here in uh, San Jose. I'm going to, uh, I was torn between taking a day trip to Alajuela or Heredia, which are two cities that are um, relatively close to San Jose, a quick cab ride. Um, so, having flipped a coin, actually, now I'm lying. Uh, actually, I chose uh, Heredia because, uh, based on what I read online, it's uh, sort of like coffee, close to coffee plantations, uh, things like that. Um, and I love coffee. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head over there, uh, walk down to uh, the main square here, grab a cab, and uh, go to see Heredia. So, uh, we will see you there. ¿Es de Costa Rica o, o de otro país? Eh, no, de aquí, Costa Rica es ese. Ah, ok. Sí. All right, uh, here we are in, uh, it's like the main square in uh, Heredia, which is you know, less than 10 miles outside of uh, downtown San Jose. It's like a less than $20 cab, right? Actually, I just, anything less than 10000 I just give them 10,000 for like a cab ride. So it's like 16 bucks, which actually isn't too bad. Um, guy was cool, young guy, chat a little bit. But um, yeah, this is the, the main square. Let me, uh, let me turn around, turn the camera around here and uh, show you what the, what the view is here. You can see the church behind me. But yeah, let me, let me switch it around here. So yeah, that's a, uh, main square I, I will tell you uh, it is quite humid today the Sun is out um, I also think it's a function of maybe being a little bit higher or I could be just making stuff up it's entirely possible but um, yeah, there's a nice breeze it's very green very lush here um, so yeah, this is the the main view of where we're starting today's excursion. So we are inside the the church here in the center of Heredia. Very beautiful. And it's nice and cool in here. sides of the walls here some beautiful stained glass stations of the cross something very masochistic about the Catholic obsession with the stations of the cross but to each their own. I'm not hating. And it's the park. I feel like every place in the world now has these signs, like the little, like trademark little sign. It was cool. Uh, so walk the park here. I love the old buildings here. I mean, it really does feel like you're in a different time. 
It's like these all the buildings look like they're from the, I don't know, 1800s. I'm no expert in architecture. I'm just a guitar player. I don't know much. This is a beautiful park. Statue of somebody very important, obviously. Nicolas Ulloa. You've done good, Nicolas. You have a park named after you. N11 is kind of giving people side eye. this cool old tower I, I saw I read something very briefly about it online before I came here <clears throat> apparently some it's like a music something or other anyways it's pretty GD cool I'm not gonna lie Municipalidad de Heredia en sesión ordinaria, blah blah blah. Rendir gusto homenaje a los So this looks like it's a uh, an homage to Fadric Gutierrez. Uh, or abundante de ceremonias de Virginia Guerrero, que Well, there you go. Buildings are just cool. I reckon this guy must have been some kind of a badass. Because if this guy was alive, uh, well, it's not clear when, but like, check this guy out. He's got, he's rocking the mustache and the Van Dyke. By his, see, I can't tell. Like by his garb, it looks like he's wearing like a some sort of um, like Chinese. That can't be. But uh, yeah, I would have liked to have hung out with this guy. I mean, jeez. This is like some kind of, there's be an amphitheater next to the, uh, next to the municipal building here. It's very interesting. The vibe, it's certainly changed um, here versus San Jose. I mean, obviously it's the capital and I've been in the middle of downtown, but uh, it's nice to uh, take a side trip to a place where the vibe is a little bit less hectic um, I mean not to offend anybody but this kind of this this particular little city here this little center reminds me of little, like places in Mexico but of course Mexicans think that everything looks like Mexico Mexico just like Americans think every, everything looks like America but forgive me for the comparison
But when I make, that's a positive comparison. There's something about these quaint places that just, I don't know, soothes my soul. Not to be obnoxious, and I hate, it is, well, I'll take it back, it is some obnoxious when people say, pro tip, X, Y, Z, um, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Pro tip, always walk off the main drag. Um, might be a little bit sketchy, but whatevs, YOLO. Anyways, I uh, found El Mercado Central aquí en Heredia, so I'm gonna go in, see if I can find me some uh, fresh fruit and some ceviche, and we'll see what happens. This mercado, I'm sure you can tell right away, is a little bit nicer than the one in San Jose, and I will note that because it's linoleum, it's quite fancy. Anyways, these films of people traveling in Mercados, it, it, the pictures don't do it justice because the smells here are incredible. Between the fruits and the fresh meats that are being cut and prepared and cooked, it's amazing. It's a shame there aren't more places like this in the US. I know they've tried places like this, like I think there's a place in Philadelphia where they tried this. I don't know if it's still open, but uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find ourselves some ceviche. Mission accomplished. I found my ceviche. Um, but man, it's hot here, it's humid. You see me sweating, jeez. Um, life is full of simple pleasures. Um, and one of the simple pleasures in life I enjoy is a good ceviche. Um, he gave me a sauce that he said is chile. We'll see how spicy it is because again, I can't help that I'm a Mexican from California and I like my food GD spicy. But uh, yeah, this looks good already. I'm gonna, let me turn the camera in here. So I'm talking about ceviche. I love you, ceviche. Uh, some Central American Coke. I don't think it gets any better than this. I mean, I could ask people, I'll ask you, does it get any better than this? I don't think so. Alrighty. So this is the, the hot sauce they gave me. It's legit. Um, it's always here because I think I'm used to as Again, being from California, we're used to seeing the sauces being like a red or a green. But like in, in Central America, I noticed this in Panama as well, like the, the sauce that I had for the ceviche was like a lighter color. They use different kinds of chiles, and I know they, when I went to Panama last time, I wrote it down, but I've since forgotten it. But um, yeah, this uh, hot sauce may look unassuming, but I, I'll tell you what, it brings heat. And this ceviche is so good. Exactly. You know those times where you picture something in your head and you're like, oh man, I really want that, like, I want to eat X, Y, or Z. Um, I tell you what, in my head, I wanted ceviche. I had the taste of ceviche in my head and this has surpassed it um, beyond all of my expectations. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my ceviche and uh, See what happens next.